Hi, my name is Paige Johnston, and I am one of the co-curators of Recruiting for Utopia, which is an exhibition currently on view here at the Fruitlands Museum. Today I'm going to give you a mini tour of the contemporary part of the exhibition that you can see behind me here in the Wayside Gallery. So for this exhibition, we brought together a group of materials, all of which are taking up distributable printed formats, like books and uh, zines, to communicate messages related to utopian visions and imagination, self-reliance, alternative governance structures and alternative social structures, being in different relationships uh, with human and non-human actors in the world, and this coming together of art and life. You'll notice as we're going around the room that in almost every case, there are two copies of the works, one that's mounted on the wall and one that's on a pedestal or a shelf in front. This was a really important choice for us to make because it's really in keeping with the artist's desire to work in these formats. And that's that distributable works are meant to be handled and interacted with. Um, the audience is meant to really feel the materiality, touch the paper, um, and then pass them around and distribute them to others. So today I wanna to focus on two works in depth just to give you a, a taste of what the exhibition has. The first work is over here. And this work, which is by Shani Peters and Joseph Coulier, is called The, Black, the Process Deck. Uh, Peters and Coulier are the co-founders of an interdisciplinary, multifaceted project called The Black School. So this work, The Process Deck, it takes the form of a tarot or divination deck of cards. Um, it comes housed in a velvet bag. And how you interact with this deck is you start by asking yourself three questions. What is my community? What do I love about my community? And what do I wanna change about my community? After those questions, you then choose one to two cards from each of six categories. We have principles, questions, tactics, mediums, forms, and themes. And then you work with the prompts that are found on those cards. And, and as you're working through that process, you're able to develop a pathway from the answers to your initial questions through to making a plan for community action. And we really love that this work is you know, it's reflective, but it's also practical. You can use it as a tool to help think through ways that you might interact with and help change your community. So this book, which is by a feminist art collective called New Craft Artists in Action, it takes the form of a perfect bound book, and it's called Networks, Learn to Craft Handmade Nets for Empty Basketball Hoops in Your Neighborhood. And it serves as documentation, as inspiration, but also as a practical how-to guide, as you can see in the front. Um, it gives you instructions for actually how to knit or crochet hoops that you can put up in basketball, basketball courts in your, in your towns or in your neighborhood, especially in areas where maybe the municipality hasn't been keeping up with those. Maybe there aren't any hoops. And you know, for this work, it connects in a number of ways to both the themes of this exhibition, but also the themes of Fruitlands Museum's collections more broadly. Uh, the knitting, the, the handwork aspect of this work really connects to that shaker history. The shakers used handwork like quilting and embroidery as both a practical aspect of their everyday lives, but also as an aesthetic undertaking. We also really like the way that this is putting the power in the hands of the people to intervene in their community and make change. So those are just two of the works from the exhibition. Um, there are many more things here in the show, and we would really encourage you to come, handle the works yourselves, look at them more closely, um, and really see what this contemporary spirit is around recruiting for Utopia. How do we find our people? How do we connect with our communities, and what are the ways that we can use 
um, very affordable, uh, easy to pass around artworks um, to get those messages out. So thanks for watching this video and we hope to see you at the museum. You can find out more about the artists in the show or about how to get tickets, about the hours, by going to the Fruitlands website. Thanks so much.